Hi, I'm George, TSG's Open Content Product Manager. In this demo, I'm going to overview the Capture 2.0 indexing components within the Open Content Management Suite. Specifically, I'm going to show how user input can improve suggestions for indexing over time. So here I am in the OCMS dashboard, and I'm going to say for this scenario, I'm indexing invoices, and I have a few in the queue. And what we're going to say for this scenario is that uh, the first couple invoices in here are from FedEx, we're going to say that we've been dealing with FedEx invoices for a number of years, and the system's already pretty aware of what FedEx invoices look like. I have another vendor in here, Diversified. And this vendor, we're going to say uh, that we just started working with this vendor, and these are the first few invoices that we've seen in the system. Um, so the system hasn't seen these invoices in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, index these invoices. And the first thing I'm going to do is identify this as a FedEx invoice. So I'll just choose FedEx there. And we can see that it, uh, since the system already knows what these look like, it's done a pretty good job of pulling all of the data. And I'm really just verifying um, these data points that it's pulled. And it may have pulled these via key value pair or potentially based on positional information over time. Um, but in either, in either case, it got the right data and I can just move on to the next document. And there, are, there is no due date on these invoices, so that's why it's not uh, populated here. So for this next FedEx invoice, it's just going to do the same thing. And we can see that it again um, pulled the correct data and I'm really just eyeballing and verifying that it got the right information. So now we're going to come across a diversified invoice, and this one the system hasn't seen before. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and say that um, it's a diversified invoice, and we can see here that it hasn't populated the information. So I can go through my normal indexing process of saying, okay, I'm going to find the invoice number, and then click to pull the information over there. Um, there is no PO number here, so I'm just going to jump down to the amount of the invoice. Uh, the invoice date, and this one does have a due date, so I'll just go ahead and do that. And what the system's going to do here is based on my uh, indication of where this data is over here actually on the invoice, it's going to feed that into our suggestion engine. So the next time we see a diversified uh, invoice, so I'll just go here and again select diversified, it's going to use that prior data to pull over this information automatically. So it's done a pretty good job again here of uh, pulling the correct information uh, automatically. And I'm just kind of verifying the data via uh, just kind of looking at it. So just to show one more, um, this is just another invoice from the same vendor. And it again uh, pulls over the, the correct data. Well, that's it for this short demo. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our blog and website for more information about Capture 2.0. Thanks for watching.